what's up everybody welcome back to my twisted life and tv i am poetry i know i changed the channel name to poetry twisted life and tv but it just feels weird to say myself in third person so if you're not subscribed to this channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the notification button so that way you can know all the videos that are being put up on this channel this one being the barrier this is a netflix original season one episode two my sister sarah and i'm gonna say it in spanish the barrier, La Valle. I think I got that right this time, y'all. My Spanish people, speaking people, y'all let me know. So I'm a week behind, but luckily this is already on Netflix. So if you want to binge watch the whole season, feel free to do so. But I'm going to put these videos up once a week. It's the way it's supposed to go. So where we left off last week, they have found the camp where Saul lives. And the police are coming in blazing. They ransacking everybody's home. They look cardboard box, they little metal cage, whatever they living or sleeping in, they going in just to find her. So grandma comes out like, look here, we just a poor little family. We don't mean no harm. My granddaughter is not a whore, you know what I'm saying? She's a young girl, she's a seamstress. And that soldier, the one who died, he came here. He always up in here looking for little girls to soil. You know what I'm saying? So right when she said that, they was like, bow. Shot her dead in the chest, y'all. Laid grandma the fuck out. Laid her out, right? There was nowhere for Saul to run. They snatched her up. Her little sister Carlotta, she hid underneath the little bed or whatever. And then as they dragging Saul out, you see Carlotta come up there with her little bunny rabbit standing next to her grandmama's dead body. She gone, girl. You own your own. Why did it end this way on my own? This wasn't how it was supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Well, back at Julius, Carlos got gas for days, y'all. He ready to roll. You know what I'm saying? Julius like, look, girl, I think we should move at night. You know, it's safer. But, uh, Whoever is Carlos's contacts, like, no, y'all need to be about her before dark. Y'all need to get gone, cross up that border, right? Then all of a sudden, somebody just show up at the door. And they like, oh, what, what happened? What happened? You know, they panicking, but it's only you gone. He like, look her. They take it, Marta, my baby girl, your niece, you know what I'm saying? And he notices that Carlos is over there packing stuff and see all the passports and everything. But he like, hey, this urgent right here. Um... And she's like, what happened? You know, they say, you know, we unemployed and everything. So they took our kids, some new rule, yada, yada, this, yada, yada, that. Your mama got me a job, but uh, they need Sarah, too. Sarah? My dead sister? Yeah, your dead sister, because they think she alive, remember? Yeah, they need her, too. The job is only mine if she come along. So I need you to be her for a couple of days. At least until we get Martha back. Carlos come up like, oh, hell no, no, we won't. Mm -mm. He go look to him like, bruh, I wasn't talking to you. I wasn't talking to you. This ain't your conversation right here. But here's the thing, Hugo. If this plan works out and y'all get Marta back, then what y'all going to do? You still got to keep showing up to work in order to keep your child. And, 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 and Julia only supposed to be there for a couple of days. What y'all going to do once she really run? I just don't make it make sense, you know. They going to snatch her up again. But Julia is with, I'm calling Julia instead of Julia. I know it's an H sound, but I'm calling Julia. She's with Carlos right now. And uh, he like, nah, bro, mm -mm. we in trouble. We need to run and we need to do it now. You know, who going to throw that guilt at her? Like, are you in more trouble than your niece? Like, for real? So he like, look here. I know children are the future. Or she like, I know children are the future, but my life in jeopardy. She didn't tell him these things, but she need to. She need to say, Hugo, they tried to kill me, man. But hold up, call us like, come here. Let me holler at you, sis. Let me holler at you for a second, girl. Look here, baby. We got plans, okay? We got plans that can't be changed. Do you hear me? And she like, yeah, I said no, dog, you know? And Hugo, that goes for you, too. I said no, I cannot help you lo siento you know what i'm saying so i was like girl tell him tell him now i know carlos is like if you tell him that's gonna jeopardize their lives but i'm thinking even if you don't tell them and you run and they looking for you it's still gonna jeopardize your family's life you know what i'm saying tell them okay so we go over to the hospital where they got marta hill 
Martha is looking for her mama's necklace. It's gone. It's not underneath the mattress. Remember last episode, though, they had stripped the bed and off. She didn't know this. But uh, then she sees it on the floor. But the old evil nurse headed her way, you know. Her homeboy spotted it and put his foot over it. Like, I got you, girl. I got you. No worries. No worries. You know, I, the little six-year-old, he's smart. He's a smart little six-year-old. And Hugo uh, is back at the crib, all weary, though. Him and Alex is pacing. Alex screaming and throwing things and everything. They beating themselves up over the shit of what cut us. And Alex is like, look, bro, you always got a plan. You always got a plan. And I always follow you. I always sleep peacefully. No one, my brother going to come up with something. What's your plan? <laughs> What's it so we can make this work? Well, Julia, she got a plan of her own too. And it needs to be in action like soon. Because Officer Jimenez, Major Jimenez, he just made Saul talk, baby. Mm-hmm. Get scared that little girl to shit. She in there in this little cold ass room, freezing and shivering and everything. He just made her talk. She started to remember, start getting flashes of who the person was that helped her. She was high, but she wasn't that high. It's coming all back to her real quick, like, you know what I'm saying? She about to sing like a canary. Oh, she about to sing. She about to sing. And don't believe for one second that they gonna let that little girl go. No, ma'am. No, ma'am, Pam. No, they not. Well. Julia, um, she made Carlos stop. We got to go by my mama's house. I told you before, I'm not leaving her without going by my mama's house. We got to go by my mama's house. And um, they went in there and she told her mama, look, I need help. And soon we saw her mama cutting off that old ugly ass wig, the braided wig that she had on. If that was her real hair, she should be slapped because it was horrible. Um, she looked a mess, child. She looked a mess. Anywho, as Amelia is cutting her hair, Saul is describing her, her to Jimenez. Got a little sketch artist up there chucking her down and everything, right? So Alex, his thought process, I'm going to go back to Nurse Ratchet. Remember I told you the little blind nurse that he was trying to crush on? Yeah, he going to go back to her and ask her for some help. She first acted like she didn't even know who Marta was, but she remembered him. But you can't remember Marta, right? And I'm like, Alex, if somebody is telling you that a child being stripped away from their family unjustly is better off. You know damn well this half a means you no good. She mean with no good, man. Think with your head, know what your penis, right? But Alex, tell her, look her. I know you know where she at. I just want an address. Tell me where she at. Or I'm going to come back here every day and be a thorn in your side if you don't help, right? So she said, fine. I'm going to see what I could do. I'm going to look around, right? And uh, come back tomorrow. Hey, what's your name, by the way? She made sure she got that name. Because what she do right after? Nurse Ratchet took her ass right to the telephone. Yeah, boss. Yeah, we got a problem. You know, one of them little girls you snatched the other day? Her relative was around her snooping around. He asking too many questions. Mm-hmm. Alejandro Mujica. That's his name. Alejandro Mujica. Yes, uh-huh. Okay, all right, holla. I knew the little heifer wasn't no good. I knew she wasn't no good. Well, back at the house, old nosy neighbor Begonia stopped by. She just makes my nose turn up just saying her name. I'm probably not going to even like the smell of Begonia flowers anymore after this show. Well, anyway, she looking for Julia. But Julia, why? Why are you looking for her, right? So Julia holler from the kitchen like, hey. I got wary. I was like, girl, shut up. Shut up. She don't even know you there. Shut it up. But she came out with her hair completely unbraided. Like, hey, girl, hey. Long time no see. Begonia, boo. Begonia's like, Sarah, girl, is that you? I was just here looking for your sister. I just saw her, you know. So they lied and said, yeah, she was just here. She had stopped by. She gone on a little trip for a little bit. She wanted to say bye before she left. Really? Mm-hmm. Yes, really. What you need for my sister? Okay. Oh, it's nothing. It's nothing. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. That heifer went over to her apartment. She got a copy of the police sketch, right? Said she's about to turn her in. That's what she finna do. But by her saying that she was going out of town, that would probably tip the police off a little bit more. Definitely letting them know that she on the run. So she gonna foil any possible escape plans. I already know it. I already know Begonia ain't no motherfucking good stinking ass flower. I don't even know the smell like stinking ass flower. So Carlos roll up on his motorcycle, right? He said, hey, babe, look, we gotta go. We gotta go tonight. 
It's this bus that we could take up out of her leaving at 11 o'clock. It's safe for us to get on her. Let's get on it. You know what I'm saying? He give her this map or show her this map and tell her 11 p.m. in the M40 tunnel. Let's get it. Right? I rode on the M40 tunnel when I was in London. I think it was the M40. I thought it was the M40. And it, it, was, it was a horrible tunnel right on. It got toes every stop of the way. I was like, my God. And I think the M40 tunnel go a long way. I know I was on M2. But I thought it was on M40 also. Oh my goodness. But yeah, that's a long ass fucking tunnel. So anywho, QO, he about to go to work. He got to go to work tonight. He can't get across the border without Julia. They give him a hard time. He was like, no, I got to go to work. I work for the prime minister. And I was like, wait a minute. The prime minister is the HBIC's husband. Remember the one who met uh, Amelia in the car who gave him the job? That's the HBIC's husband. Baby, child, Julia. Julia, she make it there just in time because they had locked and loaded on Hugo butt, right? He up here causing a ruckus like, no, I got to get across this border. I got to get across this grunt. She's like, no, no, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. They scanned her in and everything. And like the um, the news was talking about, you know, Mujeres doggone murder. And they looked up on the board and they're holding his face. It flashed off weird quick, quick like everybody got silent. Just like I was like, oh Lord, oh Lord, they did now, they did. But I guess the board changed fast enough because they let her through. I was like, whoosh, I'm a nurse, my nerves, right? So they make it to the house and everything. You know, they see all this flowing water and fountains and stuff going. Like how they get all this water on? We have heard getting cups and rations at the crib. They get like a cup of water a month for them to drink, bathe, boil water and cook everything in, you know what I'm saying? And these motherfuckers got fountains up here just wasting water. Well, anyway, they get inside, and Rosa said, mm, look who here, the connected ones. Now, y'all just got this job off of knowing somebody, but I'm the one that usually do all the hiring, so don't let me fire your butt by the end of the day, right? Now, I need you little felty swine to go take a shower. And who was like, hold up, they just disinfected us at the border. You know, they sprayed us down with the, you know, the, the, the uh, pesticides and all that stuff like that. And she's like, yeah, they sprayed your clothes. I'm talking about you and your little nasty zone two asses. Go in there and scrub all your stuff out. Scrub it off. I don't want to even recognize you when you come out, right? And I'll come and inspect you myself. Well, Manuela, like, she like, look, her, don't trip off her for real, for real, for real. Because, like, really, Rosa is a good person. All barking, no bite. I'm like, mm hmm, whatever. Mm, they haven't got teeth, don't you? They haven't got teeth. She got bite. She got bite. So, Julia, she stripped down in the shower. She got this basketball size purple bruise on her. And Hugo was like, What the hell happened to you? I fell. Girl, girl. Me and him both look at her like, You lying, but go ahead. Okay, baby girl. They was in that shower. Like a fat kid in the candy store. I'm telling you, like it's been 84 years. It's been 84 years since they had one. You know, remember with the the uh the whole revolution or the whole war started 25 years ago. They have not been allowed to take showers. They could bathe, like I said, in a little cup. You know, the same cup they gotta get their drinking water, they water and plant water, washing clothes water. They gotta get that once a month or something like that, once a day or once a week. I don't know how much they get the water from. But still, a shower, this is like heaven. You know what I'm saying? Rain down on me. You know what I'm saying? That's how they was feeling, right? They in there laughing and giggling. Well, anywho, the HBIC. Now, her name is Alma, but I'ma call her the HBIC. I told y'all this before. She come in and like he was like, hey, hey ma. What's up with them contracts we're supposed to be signing? Excuse me? I know I, she, excuse me? That's how she was looking. And he's like, you know, I, mean, I need proof. You know, back at the registry, they took my daughter, and I need proof that I got a job to get my daughter back. And he said, you know, I'm, I'm saying thank you in advance. You know, that's all I can offer you. HBIC is like, oh, oh, well. And walked away. <laughs> I'm like, sorry, ma'am. <laughs> Didn't you say we getting our contracts the fuck? That's the look that he gave, like, the fuck? He looked over at Julia like, what's, what's up with this chick right here? Is that a question? That matter of fact, ma'am, that was a question. When we getting our contracts, it deserved the answer. Boy, she blew them off. Yes, she did. She really blew them off. Um, Manuela was like, have y'all lost y'all damn minds? You don't address her like at all. Don't even speak to her. Don't breathe her way, you know what I'm saying? 
So, Luis, the one who's in the uh, the minister, he is the HBIC's husband, and he's in there scolding Yvonne. Remember the little playboy that was down there at the free club? Yeah. So, uh, they have another minister come in named Alvaro, and he's over for dinner with his wife. I forgot his wife's name. I think it was like Cynthia or something like that. Anyway, he's close, close because he's the grand. He's the kids, Yvonne and Daniela's godfather, right? So the first thing he do is address the murder of me and her. And um, he like, and I'm thinking, we got trouble. We got trouble coming on us because Begonia has gone down there, took herself down to the precinct as a government informant, a government assistant, you know, to snitch. I'm like, if we going to live by the snitches get stitches rule, Begonia need to be the first in line. You know what I'm saying? Put her the first in line. Somebody stitch her a new asshole, please. Something. I'm just saying. Just, uh. So, I was like, okay, this is a familiar scene, this dinner scene that they have in here. We got the rich people up here arguing with each other over what's enough for us lower class, us peasant people, you know what I'm saying? The HBIC says, you know, uh, we just give them what they need to survive, you know, what to keep their little heart pumping or have you. They can't miss what they never had. Okay? And Lewis is like, but uh, how we determine what's enough? Who, who are we to determine what is enough? So Yvonne's smart ass say, you know what, well let's just ask them. Let's ask these lower class peasants. Hey girl, hey, hey, Julia or Sada, whichever your name is today, you know what I'm saying? What you need, girl? What you want? You know what I'm saying? Julia's like, uh, is that motherfucker talking to me? I know he ain't talking to me, right? <laughs> Daniela said, girl, don't answer. Don't, don't worry about him. Don't say it. He's like, no, no, no. Let her answer. Let her answer. So Julia say, um, you know, I guess the same thing as you. She should have put freedom, you know, the same as you do. But she said, I guess the same as you. He was like, no, I doubt that very much, Missy. You don't want the same thing as I do. That's all he wanted, drug, sex, and alcohol. That's what I'm saying. Well, guess who came to dinner? Major Jimenez. You know, he walks in. He takes notice of Julia. Did a double take on her. And uh, Julia was frozen. I mean, just frozen where she stood. And I'm like, girl, tell Hugo something. You know what I'm saying? He like, you know, I'm her own business minister. Um, I need to steal you away for a second. When they left out, Julia breathed a sigh of relief just for a little bit. Like, who child? Until the HBIC was like, hey, go in her and service them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wait on them hand and foot. And she was like, oh, God. She's shaking and trembling, walking with the little coffee tray in her hand. And Jimenez was in there like, hey, don't I know you, girl? She's like, no, you don't know me. He said, no, 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 no. You look familiar. You look very familiar. And Lewis is like, bro, what you going to do? Arrest my dog on me? Like, I know her mama. We go way back. I've been on her for a few years. So him and was like, mm, mm hmm mm hmm Maybe I'm wrong. But I'm always right. I know I'm right, though. What's your name? Sara. So Sara. And I was like, girl, you better not let Julia accidentally fall out your doggone mouth, especially since Begonia done went down there and gave him your name and address and stuff like that. She, Julia almost lost her shit in that damn room. I'm telling you, we are out in the courtyard. Alvaro is telling Lewis that he don't trust him in his. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, the military and the police, they're getting a little bit too big of themselves. They're getting too much sure of themselves. You know, he must be a government plant. And uh, Lewis say, well, you know, we gave them the power. You know, gave them the power so they could protect us. I said, wait, that was the exact same thing Amelia said the other night. Hmm. What else did she say? What else did she say? She said, now we need protected from them. And that's the exact same thing that Alvaro said. We done gave them too doggone much power. And now we're going to need them. To, uh, who going to protect us when they turn in on us? I'm saying. I was like, is Lewis this blind? He can't be this blind. Then his wife, um, HBIC, they had a little chat about the fact that she's supposed to be making this cure, you know, this vaccine to the virus that's going around. And uh, Cynthia, I'm going to call her Cynthia because I can't remember the, the Alvaro's wife name. She's like, so have they approved you for human trials yet? She's like, no, we still working on guinea pigs. Wait a minute, girl, you ain't been approved for human trial. And you ain't the one that's in charge. You ain't like the president's wife. And you up here running these uh, secret trials on kids nonetheless. Snatching up babies. Does Lewis not know? Okay, what's going on? So, at the end of the night, Rosa patting them down. Trying to make sure they didn't steal nothing from the house, right? And, they, and she paid them for the day. They look in the envelope. It's all fine and dandy. But where are our papers at, girl? Okay. Did we get hired or not? And, um... It's like she said, probably not because the 
Well, I'm thinking probably not because Julia got caught in the house chatting it up with this little boy named Sergio. You know, Al Alma, HBIC, stopped and looked at her like she got her dog on her talking to him. But Hugo was like, not tonight. Uh-uh. No, we not, that's not what we're going to do. That's what we're not going to do is leave without you. You're going to leave here without giving me these type of papers. So he rushed over to her to have a word with Miss HBIC. And uh, she said, you know what? I only sign contracts for people after a trial period. But she's going to gonna make an exception because she saw how J Julia was with Sergio. It was like, I guess she was appreciative. I don't know. Or maybe she just need to keep her eye on him. So she tells Daniela, go ahead. Draw them up some papers, right? So they can have to take to the registry tomorrow. And so, right, um, Julia is like, okay, who you go, baby? You need to talk. Me and you later. We need to talk. And I was like, is she going to tell him the truth, truth? Or is she going to tell him that she's got to run? Like, just, you know, only half the truth. With the HBIC, she head over to the hospital. Dr. Thomas, you know, he liked the results. He said, you know, they got good positive results going on. Them babies in there throwing up like crazy, you know. Um, she stopped being over at Martha to try to soothe her and found the damn necklace sticking out from under the mattress. And she turned around to the evil nurse like, what is this? And I was like, I don't know shit, you know what I'm saying? Now, you know, dog on wear personal items are forbidden if you don't get rid of this right now. Not now, right now, okay? Speaking of get rid of Julia, she need to get rid of her existence in Madrid. Like, Hugo, bruh, I got to go. I'm saying, we leaving out of here tonight. He like, please don't tell me this got anything to do with that murder. Please tell me that. And she's like, okay, I won't tell you. But he was abusing the minor and I just couldn't look away. He go like, say less. <laughs> say less. I, I, I know you did what you had to do just because, you know, you had to, right? So don't worry. We got the papers. There should be no reason I can't get little mama back. Go be safe. I'll never forget what you did for me. I'm gonna take care of your mama. You know, just be up out of her. So they part ways. But Carlos, he don't even get out of his apartment right before the popo -po show up. I don't know how or what he had took out of the pipes. And I was like, but he probably should have left it there. Whatever you went to go back to grab, he probably should have left it there. They whooped his ass, y'all. They whooped his ass, and they said they shot him down. Um, Julia. Now, like they didn't show us shooting him, no. Julia, she run down to the tunnel. Ain't no Carlos. He ain't nowhere around. You know, she go a little bit deeper. And then you hear the news broadcast start saying that, you know, they finally caught the murderer of Major Mar 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 Marita. And uh, they shot him down. And then they show Saul dead on the floor. I told you they wouldn't let that little girl up out of there. I told you. And I was like, I'm surprised that they telling people that um, it's a, it's it's that they caught the person knowing that it was a woman and Saul had already gave them a sketch of what the woman looked like. But they caught Saul and they called Carlos and they said they to tell the world that it's done and over with. So maybe Jimenez is going to do some, something on the sneak tip. I don't know. But Jimenez on TV like, look her. That's a new sheriff in town, baby. And his name is me. Moi. Mm-hmm. That's me. Um, we caught the ones responsible. Rest assured, if there's any other slackers out there like them, you know, that's trying to go against the grain, we're going to get you too, buddy. We're going to get you too. Believe that. And he's telling them I'm not to be fucked with. Plain and simple. And everybody in the tunnel, they looking at who they like real strange. Like, I'm like, why they looking at her like that? All crazy. Um, but I think she was like, she getting on this bus with or without Carlos. Whether he coming or not, I'm getting on this bus. But like I said, her man is on TV saying, don't play me. You're going to lose, right? The bus never came. It's supposed to be been there 11. It ain't never came. Julia nervous and pacing and stuff back and forth in the tunnel. Happened to look up and see a drone heading their way. Run! She screamed everybody. Motherfuckers run. Everybody run. So they're taking off. Young and old. Just moving. Cops come in. Just lighting stuff up, baby. Lighting it up. Jimenez on the news like, Buenas noches, bitches. <laughs> Buenas noches, puntas. That's how he was. He was on there like that. So what I'm thinking was the paper that they that Carlos had put out the pipes had to be the map of the tunnel. I was like, damn, Carlos, damn, damn, damn. I don't think he did though. Cause like I said, they didn't show. I don't know. They didn't show us killing Saul either. They just we just knew she was. And the last thing, damn, is Carlos dead? Dead. <sighs> I still think they off the Julia. I still think they're after her though. They can't make me believe that. And he owned to her. He owned to her at that house. That's the end of the episode, y'all. I hope it was worth the wait. I thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for being patient. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. 
the channel if you have not already done so. Um, y'all, y'all just tell me if y'all sticking with this series. I'll see you later. Peace.